It's been almost two years since the announcement at the central bank that Liko and its parent body, CL Financial, had collapsed, the tremors of which triggered a tsunami across the economy. And even before that, the Hindu Credit Union, which was placed into the hands of a liquidator after the company experienced its own financial crisis. But what led to the two companies failing, affecting the lives of hundreds of thousands, not only here but across the Caribbean? Sir Anthony Coleman is charged with the responsibility to find out, receiving the instruments of appointment from President George Maxwell Richards Wednesday morning, and although he did not speak to the media, there's word that the inquiry is to be held in public. I feel fairly certain, however, that at this stage, he wishes that the inquiry be in the public domain so that uh, all hearings will be in public. But it will take another two months or so for the hearings to begin, with a lot of preliminary paperwork to be done and for the facilities to be made ready. That might take about three or four weeks uh, for completion, Mr. Gonzalez. So I don't think we can expect any formal hearing uh, for the next month or so. But of course there's a lot of background work which will have done by the commission prior to his first hearing. Sir Anthony is expected to address the media on the scope of the inquiry when he becomes more familiar with it.